Hi Hubs fans, I uh, just wanted to give you a very quick tour of the Digital Customer Experience Centre um, that we've built at my work. Um, I introduced the company to Hubs and we've got a very um, up and coming 3D artist that's helped us with the room here. Um, what we use the room for is to give our customers um, basically demos of our software products. So this is uh, the brand here, Aviva, the, uh, the company I work for. And basically we've got a very nice office in London um, that we use to give software demos and we invite VIPs there, but it's been closed since March. So we modeled um, basically the front end of the office here, um, exactly the same as the London office. Um, I think it's 3D Max it's done in. Um, this is actually a copy of the real customer experience center where that would be the elevator there so we've got this kind of lobby with a curtain so we can control people a little bit and then usually we do our introductions here uh, we put on videos there if we want to show people this is just a highlight or we we put up our i think there's a media frame here so we put up our powerpoints and we do you know introductions we tell everybody to name their avatars and we do all that stuff here then the cool bit begins so normally the real office has got um some meeting rooms in here and some booths but of course we are free to do whatever we want in uh, in the metaverse so in order to demonstrate our our cad products which you can see here in this video um so it's a 3d cad tool like autodesk is made for very large models as you can see here it's a power plant we made a panorama here so it basically feels like you're actually inside this cad model and we want to do some cool stuff here where we're actually projecting real time from that rendering engine into this uh, room. We then have a room here that's supposed to represent reality. Um, ideally, this would be a photogrammetry model. It's just a, a textured model at the moment, but one day it will be a photogrammetry model. And this is the, if you like, you know, the operational digital twin, the digital twin of the thing actually operating. And we again show demos in this media frame here. And then the sort of piece de resistance um, is this big room here where we show what we call a unified operation center. So these are screenshots just now, but what we can do in hubs, which we can't do in any other tool, is share um, three widescreen uh, desktops here. So if you're wondering what the trick is, you just open multiple tabs. You need a pretty beefy computer to do that. But these are three ultra wide desktops I believe or it might actually be one desktop but that's split in two parts in the software that we're using so we actually demo this stuff live and then as you can see here what I demonstrate is all the video streaming capabilities so I'm streaming in live weather uh, construction site a variety of different software tools these are just videos in this case but what we usually do is we stream in desktops and of course we can bring in 3d models this is a uh, something I've uh, taken from our CAD software. Unfortunately, the ambient light is very bright in this room because of the way we bake the textures in. They're too dark, so we had to make the ambient light. So that's why you can't see any of the, the shadow and the detail in this model. Um, but that's how we use Mozilla Hubs. And I think, as you can see here, the, the trick is um, to get somebody who can do um, good, you know, lightweight, baked lighting models. This one is not actually um, super good. Uh, it's We've actually got a, a lot better models now because our, our 3D artist Marcus has really improved his skills. This is a sort of low, um, a relatively low res texture as you can see here. But the whole model is about five megabytes and well within the, the mobile friendly recommended usage of hubs. That's all from me just now. I hope you enjoy it and I hope it inspires you. Bye bye.